Finance Minister Shokat Tareen has said the government is providing a subsidy of 104 billion rupees on petroleum products in order to provide relief to the people. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today is that given soaring prices of petroleum products in the international market, we have reduced the petroleum levy and brought to zero the sales tax. Shokat Tareen said that those using 700 units of electricity per month will be provided with subsidy of 5 rupees per unit for the next four months. For this, he said, we will have to give a subsidy of 136 billion rupees. The finance minister said negotiations have been held with the IMF over this relief package announced by the Prime Minister Imran Khan. Shokat Tareen said the government has also given an industrial relief package to promote industries in the country. He said the package envisages tax holiday for overseas Pakistanis and incentives for the turnaround of sick industries. The finance minister said tax exemptions have also been given to IT sector in order to significantly bolster its exports. Shokat Tareen said our trade deficit has also come down. Now, we've been joined by spokesperson to Finance Minister Muzammil Aslam. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to PTV World. Now, government has announced tax holiday for overseas Pakistanis. What are the objectives behind this announcement and how will the decision boost the industrial investment and exports of the country? And is this the first time overseas Pakistanis have been offered such an incentive? I think uh, uh, the, what, uh, the depth of the water has been tested uh, in the last construction package, and he referred uh, construction package in his press uh, conference today as well, uh, the success of the construction package. And uh, uh, he reiterated that, you know, uh, he himself uh, never f- uh, favors uh, the MNST scheme. But this amnesty is investment link, and we have a lot of unutilized money uh, is uh, out of the system, and that is the best way to bring uh, bring into the system. Plus, uh, it will help boost industrialization, and eventually, uh, this will improve the productivity as well as the exports. So the idea behind it, and uh, everyone knows, uh, it's no brainer, you know. Uh, we have a population of 220, 30 million people. Only out of that, 3 million people are paying taxes, and the rest are not paying taxes. And even uh, those who are being paying taxes, they are not uh, uh, paying their due share also. That is the problem. And the another thing is, people are keep on saying that uh, untaxed money or you know non taxpayers. Uh, this is the incentive for the non taxpayer. I think they have not read the policy properly. This policy is for already existing industrial concerns. And no industrial concern uh, can bypass the taxation system. So they are already the taxpayers uh, with the sales tax, maybe maybe income tax or any other mode of tax. So these incentive uh, is not for non-registered taxpayers. That is very clear. And even on the sick unit acquisition, only companies can acquire. So uh, in the past, there was an MNST for the individuals. Individual can, you know, uh, avail the MNST. They, they converted their money into official money. And after that, you know, they are free to uh, move this money to anywhere in the world also. So this time, this money has to be invest in machinery and the building of the factory. And this way, we will uh, we will be ensured that the money has been brought into the system. It will bring more, you know, uh, productivity and activity within the economy. Right now, let's talk about the IT sector. Tax exemptions have also been given to the IT sector. How do you think it will help boost the IT exports? I think that is very important. Uh, number one, we have a huge young population and. Uh, uh, every uh, uh, everyone knows Pakistani are very intelligent and t- talented people. Uh, even you are not that educated, uh, but you, we are very good, uh, you know, in terms of operating the technology, which is why uh, are so many kids they you know uh, they've made the uh, records in the very younger age uh, in the world. So the only way to uh, accommodate this young op- population is to give them incentives, and it should be uh, it should be low tax incentives. So uh, the idea behind this is a to accommodate the young educated population, 
we encourage them to bring more dollars because most of the IT is export oriented and it's not the burden on the economy. So we will be very pleased if we get more dollars through them, and obviously this will improve our balance of payment and everything. Thank you so much for uh, joining us, uh, Mr. Muzammar Aslam, and sharing your views. Indeed, a wonderful steps and uh, packages announced by the incumbent government uh, in order to boost the uh, economy of the country.